It's story time, sunshine. Books read out loud. The Three Brothers by Marie Louise Gay. Three young brothers always wanted to see wild animals. But where they are now, there are no more wild animals. At least none that they can find. And as they're walking, they can almost hear them, but they don't see them. Are what they're seeing? Are they ghosts? Are they whispers of the animals? Are they there but not? Let's read this and find out. Every night, Finn reads a story to his brothers. The three brothers love adventure stories about animals living in dark forests on top of high mountains or deep in the jungle. When I grow up, said Finn, I want to be an explorer. I want to travel around the world to see wild animals. Me too, said Leo, the middle brother. But why wait? We can go on an expedition tomorrow. Yes, said Finn. Maybe we'll see a bear, or a fox, or even a wolf. ow A wolf, said Leo. Imagine seeing a wolf. Oli, the smallest brother, just snored. He always fell asleep before the end of the story. The three brothers woke up at dawn. They jumped into their clothes. They packed their lunches. They didn't forget their binocular or the compass. Finn opened the door. It had snowed all night. Uh-oh, said Leo. Oh, they're ready. They're ready to go, but they have an obstacle. What are they going to do? The three brothers had to climb out of the window. Oof. They didn't have snowshoes, so they tied pie pans to their boots. Ingenious, look at them. Follow me, said Finn. Off they went, across snowy fields, up the hill, and into the forest. Oli had insisted on wearing his bear suit. He walked slowly, boom, 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 like a bear swaying from side to side. Wait for me, he said in a growly bear voice. They walked and walked, weaving between the trees, jumping over logs and falling in the deep, heavy snow. Are we there yet? growled Ole for the third time. Shh, stop talking, said Finn. You'll scare the wild animals away. What animals? asked Leo. I've seen some birds, but not one single wild animal. Do you see any wild animals? What is there? Is that a bear? And a wolf? And a badger? And a raccoon? Do you see them? How come they don't? Are they real? Wait, said Finn. Did you hear that? Finn stopped. Leo bumped into Finn. Oli bumped into Leo. Oli fell flat on his back like a furry turtle. I didn't hear anything, said Leo, as he pulled Oli up. The forest was still and empty. You could almost hear a snowflake fall. I thought I heard a growl, said Finn, or a howl. I know there are some animals around. I can almost see them. Can't you? Can you? What do you see? Is that a deer? Is that a porcupine? Is that a badger? Or an anteater? Can you see a rabbit? Leo shrugged. They trudged on through the snow. Wait for me, howled Oli. The three brothers finally reached the top of the hill. They could see the whole world from up there. Do you remember Grandpa told us that when he was small, there were hundreds of wild animals in the forest? Asked Finn. Yes. He said he saw foxes and bears and badgers and rabbits, said Leo. 
and chimp bunks, yelled Oli. Grandpa saw giant ferocious chimp bunks. I think he means chipmunks, whispered Finn to Leo. But where did the animals go? asked Leo. They didn't vanish into thin air. Grandpa said that the weather isn't like it used to be, answered Finn. Sometimes there are hurricanes or floods. Other times it is so hot and dry that the forest burns. The animals have to leave their homes to find food and water. But here it is cold and snowy, said Leo. And when spring comes, the snow will melt. There will be water and berries and mushrooms to eat. Will the animals come back then? I don't know, said Finn. Grandpa said that people are trying to fix the weather. How will they do that? asked Leo. Nobody can switch off the sun or stop the ocean from flooding. I don't know, but there must be a way, said Finn. Hey, where's Oli? asked Leo. He was here a minute ago, said Finn. Uh-oh, look. Leo and Finn stared at the two sets of pie-shaped tracks behind them. The two brothers tramped back and forth between the trees, searching for Oli. They called and called, Oli, Oli, Oli. The forest echoed back, Oli. It took a long time, but Leo finally found Oli. He was in the hollowed out trunk of the biggest tree in the forest. Oli, said Leo, what are you doing in there? This is my bear cave, growled Oli. I'm going to sleep here until spring, and then I'll come out to eat some berries. Rawr. It was the perfect place for a sleepy bear and two cold explorers, warm and dry with piles of soft leaves to sleep on. It was also a good place to eat lunch. The three brothers wolfed down their sandwiches. Finn sighed. <sighs> I wish we had seen at least one wild animal. Leo stared out at the forest. If we can't see any animals, he thought, why not make some? And that is what they did. The three brothers rolled huge snowballs and found sticks and leaves to make all sorts of animals. A fox or two, a porcupine, a family of rabbits, and an enormous sleeping snow bear. The moon came up. The herd of wild snow animals glittered in the silvery light. Ah, they almost look real, whispered Finn. Let's come back with Grandpa tomorrow, said Leo. As they made their way home, he can help us make some more animals. Grandpa can wear my bear suit, said Oli, if he is too cold. There were wild animals in this forest. Look, there's a fox. He approaches the snow fox with curiosity. Wow, what a beautiful moment. What a calm and wonderful night. This looks very, very magical. Do you think other animals came out to look at the snow animals? It's up to you to decide. Thanks for reading this with me.